2024 Rolls-Royce Spectre First Drive Craftsmanship Redefined in the Lap of Luxury Rolls-Royce entrusted us with the keys to their recently unveiled all-electric Spectre Coupe, priced at $422,750, and insisted on drawing comparisons to the $354,750 Ghost sedan, it felt akin to elbowing Travis Kelsey aside for a date with Taylor Swift, only to be confronted with the choice between Sydney Sweeney and or for gender balance, insert Ryan Reynolds or Patrick Dempsey here. Regardless, scrutinizing the ghost, a pinnacle luxury sedan propelled by Rolls-Royce's impeccably hushed Swiss watch smooth V12 engine to underscore the Spectre's engine-free advantages seemed oddly tantalizing. Is this an unexplored preference, or just another nonchalant Tuesday for those privileged enough to decide between Rolls-Royce offerings? Determining if an electric Rolls-Royce surpasses its conventional counterpart isn't as straightforward as a casual Swifty reference in the current era. Typically, the substitution of an engine with electric motors, even the excited synchronous ones employed by the Spectre, results in an automatic refinement upgrade. Rolls-Royce, in its century-long pursuit, has grappled with physics to eliminate any discordant vehicular sounds from its customers' awareness. If you were to compare driving any ordinary car consecutively with an internal combustion Rolls-Royce like the Ghost, you consider it among the most exceptionally tranquil, sophisticated, and insulated vehicles available, alongside other Rolls-Royces, of course. However, now you can invest in the Spectre, Rolls-Royce's inaugural electric car, a rare vehicle capable of overshadowing the Ghost. Driven by a myriad of tiny explosions managed by eight forward gears and braked by calipers gripping rotating metal rotors. The serene Spectre Coupe, featuring two doors, operates so quietly and smoothly that if you don't glance out the windows while in motion, you might not realize it's moving. Much like its fuel-consuming counterparts, the Spectre is finely tuned to gracefully glide along the road, thanks in part to its ghost-derived planar suspension. This suspension system can decouple the anti-roll bars, ensuring a smoother ride, even with the optional 23-inch wheels, and reconnects them when turns are detected. Intelligent accelerator tuning tempers the immediate torque of the electric motors until the pedal is pressed more firmly, preventing any disturbance to the well-groomed occupants during acceleration. One of Spectre's standout features is its substantial weight, tipping the scales at just over 3 tons. This mass provides a remarkable sense of solidity, with claimed torsional rigidity 30% stiffer than that of the Ghost. The thick body and acoustic glass effectively keep external noise at bay, emphasizing a sense of isolation. The car's ultra-low 0.25 coefficient of drag contributes to its aerodynamic prowess, allowing it to cut through the air with ease. While the composed highway demeanor might lull you into a sense of comfort, directing the Spectre's elongated hood toward more dynamic stretches of road reveals its livelier side. Despite its limousine-like ride quality and substantial size comparable to the BMW 7 Series, the coupe exhibits a vitality that the Ghost can't quite replicate. The responsiveness of the front and rear electric motors, combined with the front and rear steering setups, strikes a delicate balance between immediacy and refinement. The 584 horsepower and 664 lbft of torque from the motors, coupled with the exceptional capabilities of the suspension, are palpable without overwhelming the driver. Factor in the light steering effort, and the Spectre imparts a sense of unruffled swiftness. The car accelerates with ease, and the contrast between the absolute silence within and the rapidly changing scenery outside the windows can be somewhat disconcerting. Rolls-Royce claims a 0-60 to 60 miles per hour time of 4.4 seconds for the Spectre, and it undeniably feels every bit as quick. For those desiring an accompanying soundtrack to the performance, the option to enable or disable urgent-sounding noises synchronized with the motor speed is available. Electricity, yet traditional allure. Despite the almost noiseless operation and the inconspicuous button labeled B at the tip of the Spectre's column-mounted shift wand, there's little within the cabin that gives away the electric underpinnings. Activating the B switch engages the Spectre's more assertive regenerative braking mode, facilitating one-pedal driving. This feature allows you to effortlessly decelerate to a complete stop by simply lifting your foot off the accelerator. The tuning of this common electric vehicle function mirrors that of the accelerator, providing a gradual and predictable slowing of the car as the motors function as generators to recharge the battery. Every tactile and interactive element for both the driver and passengers maintains the signature Rolls-Royce excellence. The cabin envelopes you in the finest materials, 
offers supremely comfortable seats, and retains an old-world mechanical feel to most controls. The ability to manage virtually every everyday function through physical buttons, switches, or knobs is a gratifying rarity in today's cars, especially among electric vehicles. Genuine chrome roller switches control the airflow temperature directed at your legs and torso, with clearly labeled airflow knobs positioned above them, featuring straightforward settings such as off, soft, MED, and high, reminiscent of other Rolls-Royce models. Despite the presence of a substantial 102 kilowatt hours lithium-ion battery beneath the floor with automatic thermal controls, you still manually adjust the airflow through the cabin's elegant metal vents using chrome organ pulls and direct their direction with your own hands. The dashboard even hosts actual preset buttons for the audio system. This hands-on control over essential features is a luxury in itself, sparing owners the need to navigate a more complex on-screen interface, akin to BMW's latest iDrive OS, with its multitude of small app icons. Fortunately, pressing the seat massager button or accessing shortcuts to navigation, media, and phone menus surrounding the center console's control knob brings up more detailed adjustments on the screen, enhancing user convenience. So approachable and familiar, yet discreetly electric. The Spectre's cabin exudes an approachability and familiarity, especially for those who have experienced other Rolls Royces. In fact, if you never disclose to your passengers that the car is electric, they might not inquire or even discern the difference. This unassuming normalcy is simultaneously refreshing and in line with Rolls Royce's characteristic understated elegance. During our drive from Las Vegas to the Valley of Fire State Park, onlookers and smartphone wielding enthusiasts on sidewalks were drawn to our Spectre, but not necessarily because of its innovative electric powertrain. Instead, the car commanded attention for its opulent and regal presence, a testament to the enduring allure of the Rolls-Royce brand. After all, the typical Rolls-Royce experience doesn't involve hearing the engine, and the Spectre maintains this tradition seamlessly. So, is it the ultimate car, and Rolls-Royce, ever? It might be challenging to identify any shortcomings with the Spectre and convey them to you here, but there is a catch and it's not related to financial constraints preventing ownership of such a luxury vehicle, that's evident. The real discussion centers around range anxiety. This concern is not merely theoretical. Rolls-Royce customers are known to actively drive their cars, even though, according to the company, they may have an average of seven different vehicles in their garages. This inclination makes sense, as a Ferrari might be too ostentatious for everyday errands and a bit too low for casual trips to Whole Foods. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.